Richard Mata po. Uh, magbibigay lang po ako ng updates about sa dexamethasone, no? So, siyempre, natural na alam niyo yung dexamethasone. Yun yung sa kay Fabunan, yun din yung sa Prodex. Pero hindi ko po talaga yung si Fabunan or Prodex ang aking hina-highlight. Yung dexamethasone po, kasi yun po yung naging issue ngayon kung aprubahan ba yun ng FDA, no? But uh, meron po kasing update, akong nabasa, na parang parang ang sinasabi yung give it a chance, obserbahan natin anong mangyari kasi meron pong study na ginagawa presently. So, ang akin po kasi baka ma-turn down yung dexamethasone pagkatapos uh, may positive result pala dito sa international research na ginagawa. So, ipapakita ko po itong international research about dexamethasone to allow everyone to understand na dexamethasone actually is seriously considered as one of a possible uh, medication for COVID-19. No? So, ito po ang, ang kanilang tawag actually ng study nila. They call it CODEX. Bakit po CODEX? COVID-19 dexamethasone. Official name po yan. Ang full title po is COVID-19 Associated uh, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome Treated with Dexamethasone Alliance COVID-19 Brazil. Part 3 siguro yan, no? CODEX. Ibig sabihin, it's an alliance of different hospitals trying to find out on ano po ang effect ng, ng treatment ng dexamethasone. So, we are very excited of this research. This is really non-biased research, professionally done, international collaboration. So, mm -hmm. ano po ang update po dito? Ang uh, actual study starts April 13, so bago lang po siya nagsimula. Ang estimated study completion date would be August 30. No? So, after August po, after August this year, meron po tayong updates on this research. So, excited po tayo dito kasi uh, is another for us doctors allows us to uh, understand kung may tulong ba talaga ang dexamethasone sa COVID-19. Ano pong mga hospitals? Ito pong mga hospital, no? Hospital Israelita, I think siyempre sa Israel. Hospital do, do Curacao, Brazilian Research in Intensive Care. And eight Laboratories, Pharmaceutics. So, yan po yung mga nag nag-support po yung study na yan. And ito pa lang sa brief summary, I just want to read. Corticosteroids have been tested in different scenarios of ARDS, including viral pneumonia and the early use of dexamethasone is safe. Okay, nakasulat po dito ha. And the early use of dexamethasone is safe. It appears to reduce the duration of mechanical ventilation in ARDS patient. Nevertheless, no large randomized controlled trial was performed evaluating the role of corticosteroids in patients with ARDS due to SARS-CoV-2 no? or COVID-19. Therefore, the present study will evaluate the effective effectiveness of dexamethasone compared to control. Anong control? Iko-compare siya sa binigyan ng dexamethasone tsaka yung hindi binigyan ng dexamethasone. Ano kayang mangyayari? So, excited po tayo dito sa research na ito. So, akin po, wag sana muna ng may request ko sa FDA, wag mo nyo munang i-turn down yung sa, sa dexamethasone na kumbin, ginawa ng uh, Pilipinas kay Fabunan o yung basta Prodex B. Uh, baka kasi maging positive yung impact nito tapos tinurn down natin that's just my point uh, very uh, exciting study po ito so let me continue and I just wanna highlight po ah, sinabi sa, sa observation nila safe daw ang early use of dexamethasone kaya lang sabi nila kulang po yung research kaya sabi ng, ng ano, scientist gagawa tayo ng mas malaking research this time so this is the purpose of this Gagawa talaga sila ng non-biased malaking research and doon po tayo excited and I do believe it's gonna help the world no ano man kung positive then very good kung negative very good pa rin kasi at least okay alam na natin hanap tayo ng iba pero this is a very wonderful study and I congratulate kung sino nakapag-isip nito So ito po I, I don't want to go into details but nakalagay po dito 
dexamethasone, uh, may dosaging po sila, no? For 5 days, no? May, may, hindi ko na po explain yan. Basta, ito na research nyo ito sa internet. I-search nyo lang po ang COVID-19 dexamethasone. Andun po ang dosaging. So, ibig sabihin, kung nag-work itong dosage na ito, then gagayahin natin itong dosage na ito. So, that's the point. So, yung may include na sa research na ito is yung probable or confirmed. Yung suspect pa lang na may SARS. Bigyan na. Yan ang plano nila. No? Yan ang plano nila. Suspect pa lang or na-confirm. Bibigyan na. Yung inclusion eh. Or moderate or severe. Hard. So, kahit moderate pa lang, bibigyan na eh. No? Development of moderate to severe. So, bibigyan din. No? So, hindi isasali yung buntis. Or active nagpa-dede. Known history of allergy sa DEXA. Siyempre, hindi sasali kasi allergy sa doon. Or nag gumagamit ng corticosteroid for the 15 days. Hindi nila isasali. Siyempre, malilito sila kung, kung nag-effect ba yun. Kasi may steroid na siya dati. No? And uh, kung may septic shock, no? yun ang hindi isasali. And patient expected to die in the next 24 hours. So, hindi isasali yung mamamatay na bukas. No? Kasi unfair yun sa research. So, Ito po yung mga suggestions sa study na yan. And uh, excited po ako dito sa number one, doon sa probable or confirmed. No? Meaning, no suspect pa lang, sabi nila, bibigyan na nila ng dexamethasone dito sa study na ito. Of course, uh, ano po ito, yung uh, may consent po ito, piperma ang mga pasyente dito kasi alam nila hindi pa to final, but informed consent po ito na research. So, they are doing this internationally. And actually, in my suggestion, why not do it this locally? Ginagawa naman nila internationally, no? So, okay. So, uh, again, para pong uh, another support that I would like to throw on to the studies of dexamethasone. And uh, sana bigyan po ng chance. And I really would like to encourage na bigyan po natin din ng kahit local study would also be uh, good. Okay? So, uh, good day to everyone. And uh, stay home and God bless 